Hi everyone, and welcome to the introduction to Obtainer and Singularity. My name is Marco Mambelli. I work at Fermilab and on behalf of the High Energy Physics Software Foundation, I will be presenting this course to you. HSF has many other uh, self-study guides that you can access by clicking on the link here on the top uh, left of the page. So if you're interested, just have a look. But now let's get back to the introduction to obtainer and singularity. In this course, you will learn about containers, why obtainer is an ideal container solution for scientific computing, and you will learn how to use it to do your work and to share it with others. Let's jump to the introduction. Here you will hear what issues motivated the creation of Obtainer and Singularity, what are the differences between Docker, Obtainer and Singularity, and you will learn the design goals behind Obtainer and Singularity. Working with containers. So containers are packages of software that encapsulate a system environment. An OS level virtualization is delivered in a container and any program running on it will use the contextualization isolated inside the container. They have the advantage that you can build a container on any system, your laptop, for example, and then execute it anywhere as far as the platform compatible with the, the container engine that you are using. Concepts as reproducibility, preservation, and distribution are important in the high energy physics community and the containers provide a solution totally compatible with such concepts. The version of some specific software used to perform an analysis can be preserved in a container which exactly, with exactly the same environment used at that time. A legacy software with binaries only available for an outdated operating system can be executed inside a container and all the necessary packages to process data can be easily distributed in a container, independently of the operating system available on the other side. If you're interested in learning more uh, about containers, you can just simply Google and you will find plenty of resources. For example, Google itself has uh, some explanation about container, uh, IBM as well has an explanation about what uh, containers are, which are their benefits, and Docker, the company that actually invented these uh, containers, has also a very nice uh, explanation that uh, talks about container and tells you a little bit about the difference between containers and uh, virtual machines. So there are different solutions to uh, package things and make them portable to run in different places. The virtual machines use uh, hypervisors. It's a software that's running the virtual machines. And then it's virtualizing everything, the operating, the full operating system, and sometimes even the hardware. So they are uh, more flexible, but they are also heavier to run, and they require a lot of more disk space and resources. Container instead, they are a solution that's based on the Linux operating system. And what it's doing, it's uh, virtualizing only the upper level of the operating system. You can see a table with the standard division of the operating system in system space, the kernel mode, and the user mode or user space. The first one has all the drivers of the part that interact with the hardware, all the uh, protected uh, primitives that allow to share the machine between different users and several uh, abstractions. And the upper layer have the libraries and the application that you're running. So containers, they share the same uh, kernel that is in the base OS that's used to run the operating system and to run all the containers that are running there. And they only bring with themselves the libraries and the uh, application, so only the upper parts. This is possible because the Linux kernel evolved with different abstractions and structures that make that uh, easier. Specifically, uh, around the beginning of 2000, is they started providing different uh, namespaces, which are abstracting the uh, user ID, the uh, file system, for example, or the network uh, or the, the communication between processes. 
and they can create sandboxes where each of these different namespaces uh, is abstracted or, or not, depending on what uh, your desired outcome. And they also uh, provided other, another primitive, the C groups, that they will allow to share the hardware resources among different processes and uh, make sure that uh, different process groups are, uh, have, are using only the amount of resources that uh, you desire them uh, to use. So container basically are providing a function similar to the one of virtual machine, but they are uh, much lighter and they use these uh, uh, features of the Linux kernel to make that possible. So we have many alternatives. So why using obtainer or singularity? Many solutions are available to work with containers. For example, Docker that we mentioned before, which is one of the first and the most popular uh, platform or the free open source software Podman, which provides almost indexional, identical functionality. However, the enterprise-based container framework were motivated to provide uh, microservices, like uh, running applications like a database or a web server or a, a service, an app. This is a solution that fits well in the model of the industry, where a system administrator with root privilege start the container engine daemon and installs and run the applications, each in its own container. Anyway, this is not so compatible uh, with the workflow in uh, high performance computing and high throughput computing, in which usually complex applications run exhaustively using all the available resources and without any special privilege. Obtainer Singularity is a container platform created for HPC and HCC use case. It allows to build and run containers with just a few steps in most of the cases, and it design, its design presents key advantages for the scientific community. So here you can see these tables that can show you how working with systems that are uh, in distributed computing and high performance computing, uh, it's always uh, possible within uh, singularity while many of the other uh, alternatives uh, are not available. And specifically, it's based on a single file uh, container image, which is facilitating the distribution and archiving and sharing. It's able to run uh, any modern system also to be installed without any root daemon or uh, set UID privilege like a regular user. This makes it safer for large computer centers, which are resources. It preserves the permission in the environment so the user outside the container can be the same as the user inside the container. Has a simple integration with uh, resource managers and distributed computing frameworks because it runs as a regular application. So it's a really a regular program. And then finally, last but not least, has minimum overhead. So there are no extra processes after the initialization obtainer disappears and uh, it's taken over by your actual program. For people uh, familiar with it, it's using like the execv uh, primitive so that the process is actually replaced by the other one. So this is a very useful for uh, high throughput and performance computing if you are anyway still interested in uh, running uh, containers with other uh, solution like Docker or Podman, we suggest uh, to look in the other training from HSF that's uh, linked here, and that will give you uh, an overview of uh, this system, the introduction, introduction to Docker and Podman. So Singularity, uh, like I said, um, it's providing uh, a workflow where you build your images right in your uh, experimental environment uh, through modifying a container or through using recipe, and then you send them to the place where you are running, uh, like in a, a big computer cluster, or you share them with other people so that they can run exactly the same uh, research that you are using. So I've been mentioning so far the names obtainer and singularity. In this lesson, we'll see the name obtainer or obtainer slash singularity and the command obtainer. 
As stated in the move and renaming announcement that is linked here, uh, Singularity is Obtainer. Currently, there are three products derived from the original uh, Singularity project from 2015. Singularity Pro, a commercial software by uh, C-Labs. Singularity Community Edition, an open source Singularity supported by uh, C-Labs. And Obtainer, an open source Singularity renamed in uh, 2021 and hosted by the Linux Foundation. As of spring 2024, all three uh, Obtainer or Singularity versions are compatible and practically the same. The, there are different roadmaps though, and there is the hope that in the future they will join forces, but it's not currently the case. So if you are curious and want to understand more uh, how this came to be, you can read uh, the uh, history of Singularity in uh, Wikipedia. It's a very nice uh, article that will explain you uh, this uh, example of uh, software uh, development and history. So we are following Obtainer. Uh, that's the most adopted variation in the scientific community. So we are using the Obtainer command. And if you're using Singularity Pro or Singularity CE, just replace the command Obtainer that you see in this tutorial with Singularity. And we are using the environment variable Obtainer underscore and Obtainer env underscore, which are prefixes uh, used for environment variable. If you are using Singularity or CE or Singularity Pro, you can replace that with Singularity underscore or Singularity env underscore. If you have older uh, scripts using Singularity, you've been using it already, and the Singularity variables, anyway, don't worry, because uh, since this was the previous name of Obtainer, uh, Obtainer will work also with the Singularity command, an alias normal is defined, and, will, and has full compatibility with the previous Singularity environment. At the end here, you can find a link to the official Obtainer documentation. So you have documentation both for users and administrators, and it's a very thorough and covers uh, all the arguments. So that's been the basis for most of these classes. And you're uh, welcome to uh, read there uh, all the details. So in this introduction, we saw that uh, Obtainer uh, Singularity is a container platform designed for scientists. It's a single file based container uh, and uh, its images facilitate the distribution. And it's secure because uh, the user inside the containers is the same as the user outside and very high performance because it doesn't have any overhead of uh, daemon or extra processes. So this uh, module and the following one in this course are hosted on GitHub. So if you have any uh, suggestion or feedback, you are welcome to uh, open an issue and uh, provide this to us. Thank you for following.